So far, we've created games that involve moving a few objects around on a single backdrop. In this video, we'll create several backdrops, and we'll use them in a point-and-click graphic adventure game. I'm going to create a puzzle with a locked door. The key will be hidden so that you can only find it when the lights are on. To make that part of the game, I need to start with a background image that includes a closed door, a light switch, and a hiding place for my key. We don't need the cat. Scratch has now highlighted the stage, and we can see we're looking at a backdrop. Now, if you're a better artist than I am, you could draw, here's a door, here's a chair, here's a light switch. Okay, well, if you're a better artist than I am, maybe that's the route that you want to take. You could pose Legos, you could use screenshots from your favorite video game, you could do any of those things. But what I'm gonna do instead, first I will clear this attempt at artwork, I'm going to use my web camera, and I'm going to take a picture of my office. Okay, I've already set my camera up in my office the way I want it, so you can see there's a door, there's a light switch. What I'll do is I'll start by turning the lights off, and I will save a picture. All right, so that's one picture. Now I'm going to create another one with the lights on, and I'll save that one. Okay, and then another one to represent the winning condition. We'll have an open door. All right, we don't need this default backdrop, this white backdrop anymore. We now have a starting version, a version of my room with the lights on, and then the lights on and the door open. In the next video, we'll start working with these images.